recording oh, wait, Chloe. Yeah. Hey, Chloe. Yeah. Why did Cinderella get kicked off the baseball team? Why? Well, she kept running away from the ball. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I get it, because Cinderella the ball, Cinderella like, ran, yeah. baseball. Yeah. Thank you. They're still improving. They're still improving. Isn't this great? Awesome. I'm proud so, of you, Tyler. Thank you. All right, there will be a mandatory New York trip meeting today in Mr. Grattan's room. We will be handling room selection and other oh, very important details. Very so if you want to be in on that, you best be there. There will be a youth engagement meeting on Tuesday at 12 o'clock in room 219. Tuesday is today. Please bring your lunch and a friend. New members are always welcome. All right, sounds good. Hope to see you all there. What is bullying? Kicking, pushing, taking and damaging belongings, name-calling, taunting, offensive comments... Making threats, excluding people, deliberately ignoring or gossiping, and spreading rumors. Those behaviors all represent bullying. On February 26th, we will be celebrating Pink Shirt Day and standing together against bullying. By wearing pink, we are symbolizing that we are, as a society, will, and we will not tolerate bullying anywhere. It is important to take this message and remember it all year long. So we hope to see you all participating in that. It's a great cause. It's a very amazing event. February 26th, remember to get those pink shirts out. OHS students who have not yet applied to either UMB, UMB SJ, or St. Thomas will have the opportunity to do so right here at our school. UMB and UMB SJ will be doing on-the-spot admission this Friday, February 7th, and St. Thomas will be here on Monday, February 10th. If you want to take part in either, both, in either or both of these, you can begin by signing up in guidance. Next, fill out an application online or print off a PDF copy and bring it with you. For more information, please see your counselor today. Sounds like a really great opportunity. Might yeah. as well right on the spot, just like that. All right, just a reminder that the Black History Committee will be meeting Tuesday, February 4th at noon in room 35, and everyone is welcome. The yearbook is now on sale. Woohoo! Yay! For the next two weeks, books will be sold in the cafeteria at lunch between 12 and 12.30. We have 200 books to sell this year, and orders are on a first-come, first-served basis. Don't wait to get yours, as we only have a limited number. $50 will ensure that you get your book. You can order from the table in the cafeteria or online via the school website. So that's awesome. Don't forget about that, guys. That's great. As you all know, we do have an Olympian amongst the staff. Monsieur Faltin is a Paralympic athlete and he's going to Sochi this year for uh, cross country. So to celebrate this, we had cross country races yesterday and a big thank you to everybody who came up Yay, at lunch. So the points, Miss McDonald, Miss Sullivan, Miss Bryden and Miss McHugh all got one point for their APs coming down and supporting that. Mr. Smith's AP was the only full team there with three representatives, so they got two points. And then in the final race, Miss Mombercats and Miss Sanford's teams were each suspended because we lifted our feet. It was a questionable call, but in the end, we got four yeah. points out of that, so we tied for third. Second place, thank you very much to Mr. Ayers' representative came down, and he got second place and earned six points. And then, as you will see in the next video, Jacob Wall, first place, 10 points for his AP. Check this out. <laughs> Be a photo finish. Oh, we're going to lead the pilot. Oh, it's definitely not. It's hockey lunch at OHS. <laughs> All right, so floor hockey, the very first round. First round. You lose, you're out. You get one point for coming in to participate. And if you're not there, you lose. So everybody show up. You need at least three people. We're encouraging four to come. It'll be three on three with one sub, and we're using the shooter tutor. Games will be five minutes. So the first match of the first round. Mombercat versus Logan Cassidy and Scott versus Toner. So those four APs please come down. Next is Moxness versus Turley and Foster versus McHugh. Nice. Then we have Tucker versus Bishop, Sims versus Hitchcock, Kennedy versus Grattan, Buchanan versus Hoyt. We have Air versus Kendall and then Ward versus Warman. Misho versus Watson, Barton versus McLeod. Smith versus Kelly and Clark versus Sullivan. Hudon versus Bishop and Sanford versus Jackson. So it's at on. least three people from each of those APs please be in the gym at the very beginning of lunch. There'll be pump up music, there's a fountain there where you can get water after you play. There's some pretty big points up for grabs here and if you come out you win a point for your AP. So please come on down and if you're not there by 11.59 you will be disqualified. 
So everybody, please come right there. You win, you're moving on. You lose, you're out. So see you all there, guys. Sounds pretty intense. Can't wait to see you all there. All right, another quick reminder that Chloe's Boutique will be going on uh, tomorrow starting at noon. We have a little bit of jewelry left. All the Rafikis are sold out. Thank you so much for everybody who came yesterday, Monday. Um, I appreciate it so much. You're helping to make a big difference in this world, and it went so well. So also, I'll be having cupcakes there. Just make a small donation, and you can have a cupcake, and that'll be going on in room 145 once again at noon today. This is in the same hallway as uh, Mr. Grattens and Mrs. Mommerkatz. That's excellent. So February 20th. I don't know if you've seen the posters around the school, but there's a pretty big event going on. What's that again? Uh, I, I think, think it's, it's called uh, We, we Dance. Dance. 2014. Fe 2014, February 20th at the Capitol Exhibition Center. Tickets are going on sale soon. February 13th, they'll be on sale out of the old school store, so we hope to see everybody out there buying their tickets, and make sure you bring in your food bank donation when yes. you buy your tickets, because you can get to the front of the line and shoot a huge confetti cannon off into the crowd on video on the night of the dance. Sounds like a pretty good time. Tyler, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, there's some wrapped up books in this pretty Valentine's Day paper oh, in the library. Really? Have you noticed that? I think I did actually go down and see that. What's that all about? Well, if you go to the front desk at the library, you'll see these books, and they're wrapped up in really nice, festive Valentine's Day paper. And so they're covered up so you can't see them. But there's little hints on the outside. So, for example, one book, a hint on the outside might say um, about love or... Uh, issues or social mm -hmm. issues or murder, mystery. murder mysteries something like that it gives you a hint about the book but you don't know what the book is so you can sign these out at the library and it's a great way just to explore your options try a new book try a new read it's always good to learn new information and check it out it's really cool that sounds awesome guys that's in the library also if you have any jeans left over that just don't fit you anymore that just aren't in style anymore that you don't wear very often why not give them to somebody who needs them so if you have any jeans like that, or maybe you're just interested in getting 25% off at Air Apostle and you do have a pair of jeans that you want to bring in. So bring those to Miss Mombriquette's room. There'll be a piece of paper where you can sign your name and how many jeans you brought, and then we will be delivering those 25% off coupons to you guys. So please come out, support this. It's called Teens for Jeans, run through Air Apostle, and we hope that you guys bring some jeans to us. Sounds good. I mean, I know Christmas was not that very long ago, so you probably got some new jeans. Why not bring in the old ones? You know, you could really help someone out. It's a good cause. Chloe. Yeah. What's happening tomorrow at lunch? Uh, it's tasty. Cultural. Yes. Three-sided. Oh, I can almost smell it. it. It's like triangles. Hump day samosas out in the old school store. That is tomorrow. One dollar and fifty cents for one. one three seventy-five for three. three. Twenty-five cents for sauce. Come on out, support, and bring Bluey home. So we will be picking up the recycling Tuesday in third period, so please place your containers in the hall at the beginning of third period today. Sounds great. The Youth for Christ group will be starting up again today in room 246. Please bring your lunch and enjoy some positive and interesting conversation. The group begins at noon in room 246 once again, and we'd love to see you there. February is Black History Month. It's time to celebrate the many achievements and contributions of Black Canadians who throughout history have done so much to make Canada the culturally diverse, compassionate, and prosperous nation it is today. During Black History Month, Canadians can gain insight to the experiences of Black Canadians and vital role this community has played throughout our shared history. As people with roots dating back to 1603, African Canadians have defended, cleared, built, and farmed this country. Our presence is well established but not well known. The celebration of Black History Month is an attempt to have the achievements of Black people recognized and told. As a nation with such diversity, all histories need to be known, all voices need to be expressed. We believe all histories and achievements need to be included in our curriculum, our books, and the media. We believe all people deserve equality. On Monday, February 3rd, we are having a school-wide assembly to kick off Black History Month. Mr. Parker is coming all the way from Nova Scotia to share his knowledge on some current issues. We hope you will listen and learn from his message. We also have a meeting on Tuesday, February 4th at 12 o'clock in room 35 to plan and organize some more activities. This meeting is open to all students who want to be part of the solution here at OHS. B. Gage Town Junior Idol 2014. Yeah, I'm glad you're just reading the article and not actually participating in Junior Idol. Sorry, but. Oh, thank you. 
Stick to the jokes. Eight to Stick twelve. To eight to twelve years. Uh, Wednesday, February fifth, two thousand fourteen, three to five p.m. at the MFRC. These are for auditions, and then the teen auditions, thirteen to eighteen years old. Wednesday, February fifth, twenty fourteen, six p.m. to eight p.m. at the MFRC. So if you have a sing talent that you want to showcase, come on out to the MFRC and our on February 5th between 6 and 8 p.m. And we'll see you there. And that's all we have for you guys today. So have an awesome day. Have a wonderful test. day, everybody.